Are you wanting to update your picture on your email signature or change a phone number that may have changed or change an email that may have changed? Well, get ready because today we're going to do just that. Hey everybody, it's your favorite tech trainer, Bren Brewer, and today we're going over email signatures. So the first thing you have to do if you want to add an email signature that's customized to uh, your email, you're going to want to go into command. So that's agent.kw.com, agent.kw.com. We're going to go into command. We're going to go into the designs applet. So go ahead and click on designs and then you will click on create design and we'll click on social and then click continue. Once you get there, you're going to click on business basics on your left hand sidebar menu and then click on email signatures. You'll pick whether you want the, to use the white or red one. Click use and now you have an email signature template ready for you to customize. So I'm going to go ahead and customize this. You are going to want to watch my video about uploading your assets to designs before you do this. If you do that, it's going to be super simple for you to get this design ready, but I'm just going to update, customize this and show you guys how to do that. So make sure in order to customize this, you make sure you get these blue lines by selecting the photo. If you want to replace it, you'll click on my assets and then you'll scroll to the photo you want to use and click replace image. If you don't like the way the image is placed, you'll make sure that it is selected with the blue lines and click on reposition. And then you can move this photo up and down, right or left. I am pretty good with that placement. And then I'm going to click done then you're going to want to change out your logos. So I'm going to click on my assets and the logos. I'm going to find the all white logo for my office. I'm going to click the replace button and then I'm going to actually make that a little larger. I've got realtor here. That's fine. And then I want to change my name. The trick on changing text. Let me move myself over here. The trick on changing text is to use the typewriter. So instead of just typing in this box, we're going to click on the typewriter in the top there. It looks like a little domino and then you will type and then you'll click save changes. Put my license number in. I'm going to click on it and then click typewriter and then I'm going to type in my license number and click save changes. I'm going to do the same thing with my address and then click save changes then same thing the mobile office email website actually not even going to put the office on here just going to update all of these things and then click save changes and then i have to go find my app so let me show you how to do that so i'm going to go back into command and i'm going to click on consumer very last icon then i'm going to click on site and app settings and then i'm going to click on urls this right here is your url for your app so i'm going to click copy i'm going to go back over to my design get the blue lines around it click the typewriter and then paste with control v and then i can take out that https and just put this then click save changes and I'm going to make that better, bigger. I'm going to make this bigger. Like it. Looks good. I want this over here. Just do this one. I like the gray one. It kind of stands out a little better, doesn't it? I don't know. What do you think? Okay, so now I have my information is all done. So now I want to rename this. I'm going to put the date on it so I know when I did it. And then I'm going to click download. You can save this as a JPEG or a PNG. It's up to you. I'm actually going to save this as a PNG because it's a higher quality. I'm go going to do all pages because there's only one page. And then I'm going to click download. That's going to save to my computer. I'm going to put that in my downloads. Brand Brewer signature. I'm going to click save. Okay, whew, we got that design done. Stay tuned. Next week, we're going to put that design along with our Trek compliance links and a calendar link inside of our email signature in Gmail. I can't wait to see you then.